So GameStop is actually doing something really, really interesting and new and something I've never even heard of. Uh, I've used services like Gamefly in the past, you know, where you pay a fee every single month and you can rent out a certain amount of games. Uh, you can hold on to those games for as long as you want, but you never own them. You have to send them back. Now you could purchase the games for a reduced price if you want, but that's got really nothing to do with your membership fees. Uh, it appears GameStop's getting into the game rentals business. Uh, currently, I can only think of two ways to rent video games uh, through Gamefly. Or if you have a local Redbox, uh, you can rent games through there, which is obviously the cheapest way to rent games. However, uh, there's usually a very limited selection of games. Now, if you've ever been inside a GameStop, you'll know they have a huge library of used games, especially for systems like PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, etc., etc., etc. The Nintendo Switch used section isn't very big right now, but again, Switch hasn't even been out a year yet, and uh, there's just not a lot of people reselling their Switch games at this point because the kind of games that usually get sold back to the store are, you know, ones that have more consistent releases. Like next year, if Switch gets NBA 2K19, NBA 2K18 is going to start appearing in a lot of GameStops in summer of next year. So what GameStop is launching is something they are calling the Power Pass. Uh, it's really interesting. So it costs $60. The, the ad, I'm throwing it up on the screen right now. It says six months, 60 bucks. Enjoy half a year of unlimited gaming for the price of one new game. Pick any pre-owned game from throwback classics to the latest hits. Swap as often as you want and keep the last one. You can sign up starting on November 19th. Yes, any game. So you get to take one game out at a time. And, okay, the base is that you pay 60 bucks and you could take any game out at a time, one game, uh, play it as much as you want, bring it back, trade it in for another used game and another used game and another used game. And you just keep, and you can do it at any store. So if I pick one up from my local GameStop, I can bring it into another GameStop somewhere else uh, and get a different game out. And, yeah, at the end, you get to keep the final game that you have rented out. Now, obviously, you know, if you're a savvy consumer, you're going to turn in, uh, you're going to trade in your final uh, rental game. Uh, to get a game that is close to full sixty dollars, right? Because they're they're including games that are anywhere from costing you know five dollars used all the way up to when they buy like a brand new game back and they're reselling it for fifty five dollars. You could walk out one of those fifty five dollar games while having played all those other games along the way. It's a really interesting rental system to me because one GameStop has one of the largest local libraries of used games around, and two. If you're gaming on a budget, this feels like a really smart way to enjoy a ton of games. Now, obviously, before you jump in, you should make sure, hey, there's already enough games out you want to try, but maybe not buy uh, in the first place to take advantage of it. Because you never know, you know, if you're hoping for like a used copy of Super Mario Odyssey to play uh, in the next six months, you, you might be out of luck. Uh, although you could be thinking, oh, well, maybe at the end of the six months, I could find one store that has one copy of Super Mario Odyssey used, and hey, you get to keep it. It's a really interesting thing that I, I kind of understand from a business perspective. Now, you're obviously going to have the concern that, oh, someone's going to take out a game and not return it. But see, this is why the six months for 60 bucks thing is so cool, because if you don't return that game, you get to keep it anyways. So... It's actually smarter than Redbox. Because Redbox, I know there's people who have uh, <laughs> uh, basically stolen from Redbox. Uh, they, they'll rent something with their uh, card, a credit card, check card, or whatever. They'll rent a game out, and then they will cancel that card, go get a new one because that costs them nothing, and then never return the game, and then their, their card can't get charged. And basically, they don't get in any trouble. Um, I, I don't know if that's ever going to catch up to people that do that. But I know that people do it with movies and, and all that stuff as well. So it's not actually a new thing. But people do it with games, and that's stealing. Here, if you forget to return a game, you just get to keep it anyways. Uh, so that's – I really actually like this. Now, I understand that GameStop gets a lot of flack for a lot of deserved reasons. Um, I don't think necessarily them opening up the new games is uh, – you know, after a couple weeks of it being out, it is really as big of a deal as people make it out to be. Um, obviously, when you when you buy like a brand new copy of a game, the first thing you should do is check the disc and make sure it's literally a brand new disc. They didn't mix it with a used disc. 
But beyond that, I don't actually think that's ever been a big deal. Um, I think if you want something like that, you should go you know, to a store like Walmart or something if you want a fully sealed copy because reality is GameStop deals with just games and they want people picking up the games off the shelves and looking at them. And when that's the case, um, they're not going to have everything behind a glass case to prevent stealing. So they, have to, they can't leave the discs in the brand new boxes or people are going to start stealing the discs. I mean, it happens at Walmart. If you ever go to their... Uh, their section of, like, of, of cheap DVDs or, or even cheaper games they don't have behind the cases. Sometimes you'll notice uh, one of them's been slid open by someone and the disc is missing. Um, it's something that GameStop would have to deal with on a huge thing if they didn't take the discs out themselves uh, to prevent theft. So I'm actually okay with that. They're not going to, it's impossible for them to have enough room behind the counter to hold all new copies of all video games out there and just leave a bo one box on the shelf. Um, they try to do that sometimes, but it's almost impossible. So, that doesn't bother me. Uh, GameStop has had some crappy customer service at certain stores. Well, I, I went over in the past, so my local GameStop's actually very nice to me. But there are other good gaming deals out there. You know, you can go to Best Buy. Their Gamers Club's really nice. Uh, if, I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I think I get like 20% off of all brand new games. But what I don't get is the price of one game. Try as many games as I want over the course of six months and decide at the end... Um, what game I want to keep. That is a very, I mean, even in this ad, I mean, look, they're showing uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, you have Madden 18 there, Breath of the Wild, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, Super Mario 3D World even from the Wii U, Horizon Zero Dawn, Grand Theft Auto 5, Overwatch. I mean, these are all games that you're not getting for 60 bucks anyways, even used. So this is just really cool to me. I think this is obviously... Uh, I, I, you could argue it's a desperation move, you know, Best Buy or Best Buy. Blockbuster tried to do this uh, for a little bit before. You no, know, obviously Blockbuster was a rental place, but um, I think like this is just a better deal than even what Blockbuster was doing. So if this is as many games as you want, you can bring a game home, play it one night, don't like it, bring it back and get a new one the next day. Uh, it's You could end up playing, you know, potentially like 90 different games uh, in six months for only 60 bucks. I think this what, what this is good for is... People gaming on a budget. I think all of us understand, like coming up here, you know, there's like a whole bunch of games coming out this holiday. There's no way in heck I can afford all those games. But over the course of the next six months, I guarantee I can find used copies of those games inside one of the one of my, you know, I have two local GameStop stores. Inside one of those GameStop stores, I could probably find a used copy of, of all of those games within the next six months and be able to try and play them. I mean, if you think about it, I could rent out a game like Horizon Zero Dawn, beat that game, turn it in, and not be out any money and just grab another game. Um, it, it's crazy. It's crazy to me that, that they're running the service. Uh, it's obviously because they have such a huge... Um, a huge swath of games and this obviously guarantees them that someone paid 60 bucks for at least one game at the end of the day so GameStop gets their money we get to play as many games as we want uh, I think this is almost a win-win that's not I mean it's 10 bucks a month it's kind of like the cost of Gamefly without the inconvenience of having to put it in the mail right you just go to your store grab a game come home Obviously, you could say the inconvenience is that you don't know that they're going to have a game you want to play, but whatever. You know, I'm someone that has, you know, an Xbox One and a, and a Switch. I'm sure between those two platforms, I can find something I want to try uh, every time I go in and I'm done with whatever game I rented out at that time. Uh, this is really interesting, too, for like a game like Madden. You can get a game like Madden, just play it during the, the parts of the NFL season, turn it in later, get, get a different game. It's, I don't know. I think this is a really. I have to actually applaud GameStop. This feels like a good deal. Uh, I don't always like everything GameStop does. I, I didn't like, obviously, the program they have with their employees trying to push used game sales and trying to push, uh, you know, people buying passes and, and, and their GameStop cards and blah, blah, blah. Like, I just upgraded to, uh, what is it called, their Elite Pro card. And I only did that because I had enough uh, points on my card to, for it didn't cost me anything. And it gets me, like, free two-day shipping, I guess, which is nice if I have to order from GameStop um, and can't get it off Amazon. Um, and obviously, it gives me bonus points and 20% off pre-owned and blah, 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 blah. Like, it's a little bit better than their original Pro Card, but whatever. It, it doesn't matter. I don't know if I shop enough at GameStop to even make that worthwhile. But I'm excited about this uh, this pass, I the, this, in the Power Pass Unlimited Gaming. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try. On 11-19, I'm going to pick up a Power Pass uh, and hopefully be able to play some Switch games. 
uh, that I don't currently own. And it's just really cool that at the end of it all, I get to keep one of the games. Uh, so it's not just a rental service like Gamefly where once you're done, you know, once you cancel your service, you're done. No, I pay my 60 bucks, and at the end, I get to keep whichever game I want uh, that was obviously a used copy. Again, you guys let me know what you think about this in the, down in the comments below. I'm personally excited about this because now this is going to give me the opportunity to play so many more games <clears throat> that I might not have otherwise had the opportunity to play. I mean, there's so many games just this year I have missed out on because money, money, money. You guys have seen it during my live streams and my Q&As at times. You know, when people ask me, hey, why haven't you gotten this? Why haven't you gotten this? And I just put up the money sign because I can't afford it. Um, it, it gaming is an expensive hobby. I'm all for anything that makes that just a little bit more affordable. Um, obviously, you know, as a Gamefly user in the past, I understood the convenience of that, but this is even more convenient for me as someone who lives close to a GameStop. Uh, yeah, I'm excited by this. I hope you're excited by this. Let me know all of your feelings down in the comments below. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do, and if you dislike this video, well, you know, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content just like this, and I will catch you in the next one.